In today's tutorial, I'll show you guys how to deploy your ad tags on a test page, which is very useful when, for example, you don't want to deploy live or push to production right away across the board, but instead test it on a specific section or a specific page first to make sure everything works fine before going live. And for publishers using WordPress, this definitely is for you. Now let's pretend the page that you would like to use or article that you'd like to use as a test page has this URL, test.com forward slash blue, for example. Now on Ad Manager, Tag Generator, and Tester, let's pretend you already have generated your header and body tags. If you are using Ad Inserter plugin, now let's go ahead and grab the header tag, for example. Grab an available block that is not in use yet and paste the code in there. Go ahead and select the category where this test page falls under and you can just go ahead and select everything, which doesn't really matter because we will be targeting that specific page for this test. Go ahead and click on lists and you will see URLs field in there. Now grab this URL, but not including the root domain. So meaning you just go from here, the forward slash after the root domain and everything else that's in the URL. So go ahead and grab that and in here paste it. And then you're gonna add another forward slash and then a star. All right, once that's done, you go ahead and make sure that this X button right here or icon, you click that and it should show check, which means it's whitelisted. So this tag right here will only show up on this URL alone because this is the only URL you have whitelisted. For the insertion, you need to select the hook that will insert this into the header section. Now, how did we create this insertion here for the header? First, we went to the settings page, go to hooks, and then check this. We gave it a name. You can give it any name you want. And for the action, it is very important. It should be WP underscore head. Save your settings. And again, on that block, select the header hook. So it's inserted into the header section of the site. Now, what do you do with the body tags? Same thing. So let's say, for example, we will deploy the first slot here for the first ad unit. Again, find an available block and deploy. And again, select the page category. Click on lists. Same thing for the URL. Copy everything after the root domain. Paste it in here. Add forward slash and then star and whitelist it. All right, now for the insertion, you have to select where this is supposed to show up. So let's say this is going to be before the first paragraph or before the second paragraph. Go ahead and specify it here. Also the alignment if necessary. And once everything's done, click on save. And you're gonna do the same for the rest of the ad units that will be deployed in the body section. Now, if you have other tags deployed that's targeting all your pages, for example, and in order for you to exclude the test page from that tag, you go ahead and again, insert or click lists, grab the URL, except the root domain, paste it in here, forward slash, and then star, and then keep it with an X icon or button right there, meaning it's blacklisted for this URL. So it will target all the pages that will match these categories that you have selected here, except this URL. If you are using advanced ads, you go ahead and create a new ad, give it a name, deploy the code in here. Let's say, for example, for the header tag, all right? And in order for you to specifically target a page, you go to the display condition. Select specific page and click add. Then here you can say is or is not. So when you say is, of course, you're only whitelisting it for that page. And when you say is not, then you're going to blacklist that page or exclude it. So we'll select is, for example, for the title or ID here, you can go ahead and search for the title of the page. So let's say this is the post that I am going to target or use as a test page and the title is sample post advanced ads is able to detect that and I'll go ahead and select that all right and once that's done you can go ahead and publish then you go ahead select head it fits for the header or if it's a body tag select the placement where you want the ad to show up from the list